The Master in Economics is designed to train the next generation of leaders in the economics profession and uh, it concentrates on the core teaching of microeconomics, macroeconomics and econometrics. These are the core classes where tools and important instruments are learned in order for us to be able to interpret and analyze the reality. The Masters is a Masters of 90 uh, credits, uh, which are compatible with the European Credit Transfer System. It has uh, some core courses which go for two semesters, Microeconomics 1 and 2, Macroeconomics 1 and 2, Econometrics 1 and 2, or Econometrics and Advanced Econometrics. After that, you are, have the electives and a Master's thesis. We have students from all over the world, from Latin America, from North America, the Asia, Africa, and of course Europe. And therefore they come with mostly an economics background, but it is also open to all social sciences, provided they, we, they, they, they can be admitted even if they have uh, other social science background. Okay, so I teach international trade which is my area of specialization, my, the area of my uh, research interest. We have a really important concentration of uh, very uh, talented faculty, so uh, top researchers uh, publishing in uh, top journals uh, are involved uh, in this program. Students can choose uh, among uh, specialization in labor economics, international trade, urban economics, uh, international macroeconomics, in Geneva, we have a lot of international companies. We have a lot of international organizations. And we are really well placed to train students in all that, uh, that dimensions. Contracts, the, the, the field that I'm teaching has been awarded the Nobel Prize last year. Holmstrom and Hart are a great specialists in contract theory. and. Uh, uh, I think it's really exposing our students to uh, frontier research. Uh, so it's uh, giving them the maximum ch chance to succeed in international competition. The Master in Economics is designed for um, giving students the opportunity to specialize and move on into the academic profession through, for example, pursuing a PhD in economics or related topics. We have an exceptional group of faculty which are internationally renowned and who have many contacts with uh, international organizations who are advisor to foreign governments, who participate in a research program uh, all over the world. So for our students, it's really good to be uh, exposed to international research and international institutions. Many of our students have gone to uh, the industry and have had a successful, are having a successful career in the industry, uh, but in particular in national research uh, institutes, because they acquire not only the knowledge base in economics needed to understand what's happening uh, in the society, but also analytical skills to be able to come up with innovative questions and, as they say, outside the box solutions for making a real positive impact on the lives of people. We have quite a few students who went on to work in international organizations, or then in the public sector at the federal level or at the more local level. In the private sector, there are many students working in the financial sector uh, or in multinational firms. Economics is a social, uh, like any other social science, uh, describes human behavior. The interest for me in development economics is because really you can apply what you've learned hardly during the many years of studying to uh, the actual reality and try to change people's lives. <laughs>